So because of the pandemic, we found ourselves, you know, buying weird things. Uh, and, you know, different, more than just food, we're, we're now hoarding and, and buying uh, bicycles because apparently the, the, the pandemic has led to a boom in bicycle sales around the world and a shortage as well. Uh, because let's think bicycles, for those who want to work out, yes, um, you can't work out, um, you can't go to the gym. So you go to the store, you buy, buy yourself a bicycle and you go ride your bike around. And if you are unemployed or underemployed right now, mm -hmm. it's a quick way to sure. hop on and run to the store and get something without yeah. expending gas. Uh, yeah, this is the biggest spike in sales and bicycles since the oil crisis of the 70s, they say. Um, now, here's the other, other issue. 90% of bicycles that we buy in the U.S. come from China. And because shipping, oh, the shipping has been restrictions shut down, and so much of the air yes. freight and whatnot has gone sideways with everything, yeah. the access to these is right. diminished tremendously. And then in the larger cities where you rely on subway and public transportation, that was shut down for a time. So you had no way of getting around the big cities. Right. So what'd you do? You got a bicycle. Yes. And even... Uh, Places like Uber and the cab services yeah. and whatnot were diminished or closed again mm -hmm. because of the pandemic. So, yeah, how do you move? How do you get it's what true. you need? You find other Bicycle. ways and bikes and way to do it. Even in the cities, yeah. you see the people, they get the lightweight bikes, they can carry them over their shoulder up to their apartment and whatnot uh -huh. so they can come and go. So, yeah, there you go. An overrun with bicycle purchases. So if you find that the bicycle section at your local store is is empty, that's why. More info on the pandemic leading to the bicycle boom right now in shortage too at YesFM's Facebook page, Twitter at 967YesFM, and the Mercer Morning page at YesFM.com.